Okay, welcome to part one of this series. Um, in this video, I'm just going to talk very briefly about the API that we're going to be using um, and slightly explain again what the SMS gateway whole idea is. Um, then I'm going to go over the file structure that we're going to be working with, which is pretty much the same as we always use. In fact, it's exactly the same. Um, so I'm not going to cover that in too much detail. However, I am going to explain it. So there you go. Okay, so let's just get on with that then. So the first thing is this site here, which we're looking at, called Source SMS. Um, it's just an SMS gateway that um, you could use. There are many, many available. Um, I picked this one just based on, well, pretty much nothing really. It was fairly, pretty much a random decision. Um, so if you would like to sort of shop around and look at the various prices, um, then that's obviously something that would be a sensible thing to do. However, the API that they all use aren't going to be the same. So for the sake of following the tutorial, I would encourage you to use the sort of introductory account that um, they offer. Um, again, using the promo code, which is in the description, hopefully, if I remember. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much that. Um, when you sign up, you should get uh, somewhere like three or four credits to use. Um, so then you'll be able to send somewhere between three and four messages, sort of. Um, some uh, messages, if it's depending on the destination, um, will cost more. So for example, you can see here on the right hand side, 2.5 credits is the cost of a message to Italy or Poland. Um, most countries are two credits, with a few exceptions. The UK, where I am, um, all messages are one credit. I'm not really sure why that is. I guess there's sort of a variation in the cost that the company has to pay for, but well, whatever. Okay, so the SMS gateway, like I said previously, acts a little bit like your mobile phone provider um, in that they operate um, or resell, I don't really know, um, a sort of cellular network, uh, meaning that they can actually send SMS messages. Um, it's not free to do that, so obviously they charge for their service. Um, however, it is the only way for us, as a sort of PHP developer, to be able to send uh, text messages. Um, there are free services about, you can find them, however they tend to send adverts along with your message to, sub that's just how they fund their you know, server costs and all that sort of stuff. Um, so that's probably something you'd like to avoid. Um, and also I've found in the past, I have tried a few of them out and um, they tend to, like, there tends to be quite a long delay between you script running, your script running, and the actual message arriving. So again, that's most likely something that you wouldn't want to have happen. Um, basically, you get what you pay for, so yeah. Um, the prices all tend to be fairly similar to um, what you would pay your mobile phone provider. For example, this company, I believe, is about 8 pence per message on average-ish. Um, it might be 6, actually. I think it's still on the homepage, but well, you can look at that yourselves. Um, so that's you know fairly competitive compared to what your cell provider uh, will charge. Anyway, that's enough about this company. Um, you're going to need to register an account, by the way, so go ahead and do that. <laughs> I'll wait, you can pause the video. Um, and then from this page here, you just click on the account page, and then you want to go to the developers link down here in the, in the menu. So just click on that, and then you'll be directed to this page here. Um, and you need to make note of your API password. So this is my one, although I'll most likely blank that out for the video because otherwise you could send um, messages from my account, which obviously I wouldn't want to happen because I've paid for these credits. Um, so yeah, that's that. Okay, so um, what we're going to do now is go to our folders and talk about the direct directory structure. So just make a note of your API password here once you've registered and got some credits, which you should have about three or four of, um, depending on I don't know what it depends on. The email I got said three or four. <laughs> anyway, um, so let's go to our uh, folder and we'll talk about the folder structure. Okay, so this is the folder we're going to be working in. Um, as you can see, we have this send.php, which is the page we were looking at in the introductory video. Um, and this is the thing that's going to have the actual form and it's going to call a function that we're going to define which actually sends the message. So the other folder we have here is this core folder, and as always, this contains pretty much everything to do with our sort of back-end type files and all that sort of stuff. So we just open this up. You can see that we have two more files, uh, well, one folder, one file, uh, one of them being this init.inc.php file, 
and that is pretty much what I use in all of my videos um, and that is something that is included by all of the pages so if you had more of these .php files here um, all of them would include this init file and this is just so that you can say if you want to do something on all of the pages you can so you may want to start the session on all of the pages or do something like include some library files which is what we're going to be doing in this video um, talking of library files that's what's contained in this ink folder so we just open that up you can see that we have just this one file which is called sms.inc.php and this file is just going to define a function which uses the API of the source SMS um, service to send a text um, so essentially you're going to be creating similar, something similar <laughs> something similar to PHP's mail function which sends emails but for text messages okay so that's probably everything I've got to say uh, for this part so in the next video we're going to get on with coding this um, I probably should mention that I have actually removed all of the PHP code from um, these files so if we just go to our browser and go to our contact form and if we just reload this and click send you'll see that nothing happens so we're going to be going through all of the form validation and the actual SMS sending which is sort of the key part of this um, and that should be all in the next video okay so thank you for watching and come back for part two